hi guys welcome to PHP tutorial series from my last couple of videos I am working on creating this uh, other reports uh, in PHP I was showing how to create this uh, kind of report using PHP in my last video I created a header title two drop down menus a button and a table I copied uh, CSS from my uh, last this completed one uh, sample or completed one form okay that's why i had paused while uh, uh, creating this form and then i added this table here you can see i have copied uh, my um, css styles see if you want the same styles you can just pause this video and copy and copy it okay and index.php Okay, look at here I added table and I wrap this entire code from select to table inside a form okay we need a form element to post our data to the server and in that form uh, tag inside that we need to mention the action and method okay action uh, specifies the file name to which file we need to we are posting this data and the method by which method we are posting this data either by post or uh, get okay we are using post because it's uh, it is secure okay uh, but get method is not secure now in this uh, i will show you how to uh, display this uh, standards and courses okay these are coming from the databases but in our tutorial I am showing these for static these are static these are coming from the HTML okay let us go to our site okay you know I have created one db.php file inside my reports to folder okay this is a connection which I have made I have to use mysql connect function and pass localhost inside it because I am working on localhost that's why I have given localhost uh, instead of localhost you can give 10.0.1 also okay but I, am, I will use localhost and here you need to specify your username uh, my username is root and mysql select database here you need to select your database my database is php reports and pass you have to pass this connection okay now let us uh, now we have uh, created our connection now let us include this db.php file this db.php file into our index.php okay so how to include our uh, one file into another we will show you okay let us open our php tag include once with the help of include once function we can call uh, our db.php or connection or configuration file into index.php so let us write db.php okay now we have included it successfully included it now go to let us go to here and delete these two okay now let us add a php tag inside it and let us write a query equals to select everything from standards okay double quote put it inside a double quote and now we have to execute this query let us make it as query 1 and result 1 equals to we have to execute this query by using mysql query function and pass this query inside this function okay now come here and take a while loop while number we need to we need to run a while loop and we have to iterate all the records all the rows in this standards table and, um, rows equals to mysql 
by the way all this how to fetch data uh, from your database i have explained uh, explained it in my uh, previous tutorial i have explained the complete code how to fetch data from your database in my previous tutorials if you want to understand clearly just watch that video because in this video I'm, i will be uh, very quick and fast in explaining because i have already explained it okay uh, fetch sql fetch array i want to fetch my data in the form of array let us pass this well this query result here and okay now okay now let us use this copy this let us make it as rows only copy this paste it here and sorry rows data okay and copy this paste here colon and we need to pass the field name let us go to our database go to standards here standard name we have to pass this standard name ok let us close this here close this php tag and open a php tag here ok why I have done is, is this is I have to uh, wrap this data into our option option ok now value and here echo now we just cut it and put it here take this copy it and come here ok now select id also our id equals to let us make it as standard id ok and do the same thing copy here id ok now we need to copy this and come here then now change it to this copy and paste here ok now if I go to our page and refresh and see in the previously you had only first PUC and second PUC uh, first and uh, first number and PUC like this previously you have had in your option you see and this kind of options you had because these were coming from our HTML now these are coming from database first PUC and second PUC if you want to see see first PUC and second PUC the names are same ok now if I show you ok first PUC std just for uh, to assure you guys that these values are coming from database I will show you here now our values will get changed to this first PUC std and second PUC std refresh this see okay. this is how you need to fetch the values ok I am running short of time guys I will see you in my next video where I will uh, use the same code to display courses to display courses I will call these courses from uh, our database okay. guys I hope you enjoy this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys